Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at the remaining EasyPay integration functionality that we haven't explored yet in previous videos. This includes the addition of payment details against a subscription, viewing or editing payment history and future payments, as well as looking at some of the reporting functionality associated with the EasyPay integration. I'm going to include some timestamps in the description that you can click to quickly navigate to the sections of the video that you're interested in. This video assumes you've seen the previous videos in the series and you've been able to effectively establish your EasyPay integration, create a payment plan, establish a confirmation of consent, as well as generate and activate a subscription. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. First, we're going to explore the process of how to update a contact's EasyPay payment method. Inside of your contact's contact page, hover over Actions and select EasyPay Subscriptions. Next to one of your subscriptions, you'll want to select the Payment Details icon. This will bring you to this page. Now, there are two ways to go about adding payment details against a subscription. The first option is to select the Generate Public Link button. This will copy a URL link to your clipboard. You can then send this link to your payer via your chosen method of correspondence. You can see that if I paste this link into my own browser and navigate to the URL in question, it presents me with an almost identical view to my previous administrative perspective. This essentially allows your student to be responsible for the entry of their own payment details against their subscription plan. This allows you to circumvent the process of storing any sensitive financial data, as this window is actually hosted by EasyPay. The other alternative is to simply enter the student's payment details manually if you already have their provided financial details on hand. As a reminder, you should not be storing any sensitive data within Accelerate. The page you see here is actually hosted through EasyPay, which means any information you are entering is not actually being stored in Accelerate at any point in time. You're able to view the future scheduled payments of a subscription at any point in time by heading to the Contacts Finance Summary page. To do so, First, you want to view a contact's profile page like so. Then, you want to hover over Actions and then select EasyPay Subscriptions from the drop down. On this page, you can either click this subscription name or the total cost to head to the next page. On the left, you can see that I have a summary of the contact's current subscription. This is here for you to double check that you're viewing or editing the right details for the right person. By default, Listed here is all the future payments scheduled for a single subscription. Using their respective icons against each instance of a scheduled payment, I'm able to edit, manually record, or delete a future payment. You can also view the entire payment history of a single subscription via the same page by selecting the Payment History tab. Here is where all the recorded payments for a single subscription will be listed. Clicking this red X icon next to an instance will allow me to refund the invoice. There is also some reporting functionality centered around the EasyPay integration you may find useful to use. The Outstanding Collections report will generate and download a PDF file showing all the outstanding customer payments within the timeframe you wish to specify. To generate such a report, you'll first want to hover over Finance, and select EasyPay Payment Plans from the drop-down. On this page, you'll want to select the Outstanding Collections Report tab. From this drop-down, you'll have the option to specify a choice of all 30, 60, or 90 days that are outstanding. Here, you have the available filters to further filter down the results you're looking for. Keep in mind that these are multi-select tick boxes, which means you can select as many as you'd like. Lastly, you can customize the way the report is sorted by using the drop-down like so. As mentioned, when you click Create Report, this will create a PDF file, which will automatically download to your browser. Lastly, Accelerate also now offers some EasyPay-centric report filters for use in the existing Report Builder engine. These can easily be located by typing in EasyPay in the Filter Edition search bar. 
That about sums it up for this video, covering general easy pay usage. This video included the addition of payment details against a subscription, the viewing or editing of payment history and future payments, as well as looking at some of the reporting functionality associated with the EasyPay integration. As always, thanks for watching.